Hey everyone, Michael here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I want to talk about a very useful tool that been recently brought to my attention by one of my students and that is actually a Photoshop replacement software. And I've been testing it and it's really good so I want to share with you guys and so maybe if you are in the market to buy Photoshop, maybe hold off to see if this is a good fit for you so it can save you some uh, monthly recurring subscription or if you're planning to buy the license, which is really expensive. And this program is called Photo P. And if you're in the print-on-demand space, you know that most of the templates that your suppliers will provide you is in PSD. So you need a software to open these files and edit these templates that they give you. So we'll actually walk through the software together. But if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that notification bell to get all my latest updates. With that, let's get straight into this. All right, so I just pulled up PhotoP on my computer. That's photopea.com. And when you go to that website, this is what you'll see. You can see that it's free and it looks very similar to Photoshop. And of course, they also have a paid version that gives you more features and takes away the ad. But with this free version, it's enough for you to get started to use the templates that your suppliers will provide you with. So in today's example, I'm actually going to take Shine On and use their template to give you an example on how to operate PhotoP with their templates. So the first thing that you want to do is go to File and go to Open. And once you're here, you want to open the file that you downloaded from your supplier. So in this case, it will be Shine On, and I want to use this buyer upload heart pendant necklace engraving background. All right, so let's open that up. And once we're here, all we have to do is replace these images. So first, we can go ahead and double click on this layer over here. And once we're in here, we can go again, file, and then open and place. And this is where we want to open our file that we want to replace this image for. So we can go ahead and select one of my image in here as an example. And what you wanna do is make sure it looks good and it fits in this little square, all right? You probably wanna spend more time to make sure it actually fits a dimension, but for now, I am just going to hit save and enter. And once you are happy with this image, you can simply hide the other image. It doesn't really matter, but you can also go ahead, file, and then go ahead and save smart object, okay? So once you save this, we can close this layer, and now you can see that this image has been updated and also on this pendant as well. And from here, all we have to do is go ahead and download the PNG, all right? So file, export as, and we can download the PNG file. And this will allow us to actually upload this into our Shopify store for the image that we want to promote, all right? And this is the same image that we can actually put on our Facebook ads as well. Now that is using the photo upload image template that they provide us. There's actually a lot of different stuff that you can do with PhotoP as well because another new feature that came out on Shine On is the etch design and that requires a SVG file and you can actually manage that file in this platform as well. So for example, if we go ahead and go to file, we can open that template over here. Again, it's in PSD file. Once we open that, we'll get this template over here, all right? And then from here, we can go ahead and open and place the new design that we want to save on this template. So for example, if we want to have this design over here, we can simply open and it'll place in this field over here. Now this design is more complex for etched engraving design, it should be uh, more simple than this. But to just give you an idea of how to do this, you can basically place this diagram in this field. And from here, we want to go to adjustments and we want to go to black and white. And then we can 
turn this off and click on OK. And from here, right click this layer and then we can click on rasterize and then image vectorize bitmap. Let's turn this colors to zero. All right, and then we can pretty much export this design over here by going to File, Export As, SVG, all right? And that is what the system wants for these edge design. And once you export this, you can save it into your supplier app and start promoting this design. So with PhotoP, it's very flexible. You can do whatever you need that you normally do with Photoshop. So it's a very good tool. Again, that's Photo PEA, and you can convert it to PNG or SVG, depending on what your supplier needs. All right, so that's one way to convert into SVG. Another way is just take your PNG file and put it onto this program over here, onlineconvert.com, and that can convert into SVG as well. All right, so I hope you like this video. PhotoP has been a very useful tool that I've been using ever since my student told me about it. So let me know in the comments below. Also like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.